Hi, I'm Caitlin Franz, and I'm a marketing intern here at Digilent. Hi, I'm Josh Wolstead. I'm also a marketing intern here. And we're here to talk about the Zbot. Sam Bobrowitz had a really cool project on his desk for a long time. It was the Zbot. And the Zbot was basically the exact same thing, but on a Z board, which is a much more expensive board than the Zebo. So we saw his project, he brought it to us, and we thought it was really cool, and he tasked us with putting it on the Zebo so that it was more accessible to a wider audience. My job here at Digilent is to work with FPGAs for the most part, and Josh is more computer science. So we combined our skills and worked on the Zbot. We created this for Aceta, which is coming up this month. Like the LED board that you saw in a previous video, the Zbot is another way to show our products in a really flashy, cool way for a trade show. The Zbot is a really cool project because it covers all of the aspects that you learn in electrical engineering and computer engineering. The Zinc chip has an ARM core and an FPGA side, so there's a base design on the chip that is setting it up to take an embedded Linux. So the Linux distribution that we used was Ubuntu, and on that distribution we have a server, and the server communicates with the webcam and makes it so that on the computer screen here we can see what the Zbot sees, like Josh's hand. The webcam takes JPEG images, which are sent by the server on the Zebo to an IP address, which we can then connect to from any computer on the same network via Firefox. And also so that we can control it wirelessly with the Xbox controller. The JPEG images are being sent at a quick rate, which simulates a video. As you can see, there's quite a bit of latency on the camera. And what we discovered is that it's not actually the wireless connection that's causing the latency, but it's the camera connecting to the server itself. So we're going to try to get that latency down because, as you could imagine, we were trying to drive it around the office one day, and it's a little bit difficult to control if you're just looking at the camera feed, using the controller, and trying to see what you're doing. The Zebo board itself requires 5 volts, and no more than that. And the motors each require 12 volts. So the motors are connected with two PMOD HP5s that we have attached here. So the H-bridges control the direction. As well as that, there's the servos that require 5 volts. So it was difficult to figure out how to provide all of those different sources with different voltage levels and enough amperage. What we ended up deciding to do is using a voltage regulator so that we could get the 12 volt side and we could get the 5 volt side. Fortunately, when we were doing this, we learned a lot about powering boards and what to do and what not to do. <laughs> and we figured out why the particular voltage regulator we used was discontinued. So there was a lot of learning in this project. And the voltage regulator also helps with the current. The Zebo itself does not require that much current, and, but the motors and the servos require a lot of current. The servos in particular have spikes in current because when you move them around or if you put a lot of resistance on them, they'll require a lot more current than they do just sitting there. So you have to think about what is going to be the maximum peak of current. And we actually found that out by crashing it a few times. When it hits that maximum current, if it's not supplying enough current, it'll do a power shutdown of the Zebo, and everything will break, and that's not good. If you'd like to learn more about the Zbot and maybe even make your own, if you go to instructables.com and search Zbot, you'll find a collection of instructables that talk about all of the different components required to make the Zbot. There's one about the hardware, there's one about the software, there's one about the server. There's one about connecting the Xbox controller. Oh, yeah. We even wrote one about troubleshooting so that any of the problems that we faced, you don't have to face. And we'll continue to add more troubleshooting tips on there as we get comments or messages on Instructables. Zbot is spelled Z-Y-B-O-T. Like Zebo, but a robot. Zbot. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Oops.
Ah, uh, that's terrible.